Oh, hey guys, I, uh, <laughs> I neglected to see you guys walk in through my door right here, I'm sorry, um, well, I guess since you're here, I could tell you guys about some new video games I picked up. Okay, that was a really lame opening, I don't know why I did that, I literally just got the idea to do that, like, a second before I turned the camera on, so, if you guys didn't like that, just tell me, I'm sorry, I won't ever do it again, because, uh, that was, it was pretty cringeworthy, I would not like to see that if I were watching a video about, about something like this, but maybe I would like that, I don't know, anyways, you guys, this is just a video where I just run you through some of the new video games I bought that I haven't purchased at Half Price Books, because Half Price Books purchases go in my Half Price Bargains at Half Price Books, videos and there are a lot of video games in my most recent one so if you guys want to see even more games that I purchased definitely check that video out so let's get started right off the bat here I got a PS2 memory card um, it says two dollars it was at a garage sale I told them I'd go a dollar for this and they said okay whatever and I was like alright cool um, basically I bought a PS2 memory card because my PS3 broke and I would basically use my PS3 over there Oh wait, I put it up in a box in my closet, never mind. Basically, my PS3, I used it as my PS1 and my PS2 as well because I did the whole internal memory card thing, and my PS3 was one of the ones where you could actually play those games, but my new 500 gigabyte supercharged PS3 cannot do that. So I don't really have a PS2 right now, and I've never had a PS1, so I'm going to have to buy those two consoles, and I didn't know if I still had a memory card. Um, so I picked one up. I used to have like three PS2s, but I got rid of all of them because I'm a little jackass. But, uh, yeah, that's just a memory card I picked up. This thing right here, I got Tetris 2 on the Super Nintendo. I did play this game, and I didn't really like it that much. I definitely prefer the original on the NES. But, um, I got this at Goodwill. Uh, it was $3, and my friend JJ and I, we tagged it down to $2. I know it's kind of illegal, but, you know, it's, it's, I don't know. It's whatever, and they ended up ringing it up for one dollar, so I got this for a buck. I guess that's kind of a good deal. Another thing I got here from Goodwill, actually, is GTA 2 on the PS1. Friend of mine, Nick, he told me this was his favorite Grand Theft Auto game, so I was like, you know what, I'll give it a shot, only a dollar ninety-nine. I'm just gonna replace the case because it's got some crackage on the back there. But yeah, Grand Theft Auto 2 Collector's Edition, I don't really know if that means anything. But uh, yeah, kind of a cool little pickup. Another thing I got here from Pawn America, this time it is a Wii game. It is Metroid Prime 3 Corruption. I got it for 8 bucks, which is a pretty decent price, I think. I don't know what it usually goes for at, like, GameStop, but uh, I like the Metroid Prime games. I used to have the first one on GameCube, but I sold it to a friend of mine because when I was a young kid in middle school, getting money was hard to do. Mowing lawns was my only source and picking up dog poop in my backyard, so I always needed money, and I had two friends who were like, hey, can I buy some games from you? And I was like, okay, I guess, because I need some money right now. So I sold Metroid Prime on the GameCube for like eight bucks and I regret it because I wish I had that game now because I'd love to play that game so I can get into this one but yeah Metroid Prime 3 Corruption uh, another Wii game I got here from uh, from GameStop for $2.69, and I kind of regret buying it because the case is a little beat up, and they had an ex the exact same game there in a much nicer case and much nicer quality, but that's Trauma Center, second opinion, and the funny thing is, I bought this game like a month ago, and now the Game Grumps have been playing it. I watched the Game Grumps, and uh, I think it's funny that they're playing this game because I thought it was really random, but it's developed by Atlas, and I don't Atlas obviously does Persona. I've never played those games, but I played Catherine, and that's one of my favorite games of the last generation, so I was like, you know what, I might like this game, it's kind of like Surgeon Simulator and uh, Amateur Surgeon, if you ever played that iOS game, uh, but yeah, Trauma Center, Second Opinion, haven't played it yet, I did watch some of it on Game Grumps, but uh, yeah, you know, we'll see how it is. This one, uh, I got it for free, I had a $5 gift card, I got the gift card for McDonald's, it was supposed to be a McDonald's gift card, but it was like an e-gift card, and I just turned it into a GameStop gift card and got Rogue Warrior, uh, this game. Machinima was just recently playing this. I remember when it came out, my friend JJ and I were kind of looking forward to it a little bit because Beth because ugh, because Bethesda was presenting the game or something, and that was right after Fallout 3. So we were kind of pumped up for Rogue Warrior, but then it came out, we didn't really pay any attention to it, and I thought it was like a third-person stealth game, but it's a first-person shoot 'em up with Mickey Rourke doing the voice of the guy, and it looked absolutely hilarious on Machinima, so I bought it for like four bucks. And it's not a very good game, but it's kind of funny. Assassin's Creed 2, also from GameStop. Um, I used to have this game. I gave it to a friend of mine as a going away present. Got the Platinum Trophy in it. I just kind of want it on my shelf in my collection because it was a really good game. I liked it a lot. 
And now I have two Xbox 360 games. Uh, I got Toy Story 3. Picked this up at a garage sale um, for two bucks. I think they were asking four, and I talked them down to two. I always just slash prices in half at garage sales. So two bucks for Toy Story 3. Really good deal. This thing's one of those like $18 games usually, so I'm happy I got it. And another game I got here is Battlefield 3, and there's actually two copies of the multiplayer disc in here. I don't know why. So I have like two freaking Battlefield 3s, and the reason I have this game is because I very recently bought an Xbox 360 by my from my good friend Peter Sherman. He wanted to sell it because he got a PS4 just like me, and my PS4 broke by the way. That's just great. I sent it in though, so it, it, I should be getting a new one pretty soon. But anyways, I'm going to take you guys over here, so just wait one second. So yeah, Peter sold me his Gears of War limited edition 320 gigabyte Xbox 360 with the controller there, obviously. Uh, GameStop was offering up $65, and I told him, I was like, you're not going to get a ton for it anyways, before he had even known it was 65 bucks. So I was like, you know, whatever anyone's offering you, whatever like like GameStop or World of Games is offering you, I'll up it by like 20 bucks. So I paid $85 for that and uh, Battlefield 3. So it's a pretty good deal. And another cool thing is that it matches my butterfly knife, see? So you guys, that was my new video games. I hope you guys enjoyed it. You guys stay tuned next time. Check out my other recent purchase videos like my Blu-ray buys, my half price bargains because there are video games kind of floating around in those sections too. So you guys, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and, and comment and just talk to me, like the video, whatever you guys want to do. And I'll talk to all of you guys later.